Run! <laughs> Right, guys check it out i hope you can hear me because the wind is blowing i'm over here in ashtabula i got richard and kara with me and uh we actually came out here to film across the street which we might still do in a minute but then we saw this place here and we're not quite sure what it was so we're gonna make a little video here and then try to figure it out look first thing we got seagull friends over here they're strewn all throughout the parking lot here and we don't have anything to feed them all right, so this is what this place looks like, guys, right here. We got the enter sign is still up. Exit sign is up. There's a garage door up here. And thank God there's no, like, paper or blackouts on the windows. We'll be able to peek in. I'm going to start right here in the middle because I do see a Dutch boy sign in here. Okay, well, it also says crane plumbing. Let's see. Yeah, crane plumbing, the big Dutch boy sign. That's paint. Uh, there's a wall. <laughs> um, let's go down here a minute. Just a wall in there. Okay, well, whatever it was, I assume this is where the carts would have been. This breezeway or whatever you call it here. I do see a set of doors down there, which we'll go look in in a minute, because there's also a set over here. I think Kara said you couldn't see in here. Oh crap, she was right. Look, we got black plastic bags. And I don't hear anything going on with that. A lot of times, I've mentioned this before, a lot of times when they have like the, uh, the sensors, up there, if you just walk right up, you can hear it click like it wants to open the doors, but uh, that one's not doing anything. All right, let's go down here. Look, cut. Another one on this one that says cut. Oh, look, and there's a saw blade there. What the heck would that be all about? Look at this over here. It says cut and it's got a saw blade there. Do you have any idea what that would be for? I mean, the only thing that comes to mind would be if there was like a, a roll of stretch wrap or something that would be also connected here, but why would they do that? I don't know, unless there's strings or something attached to pallet, because this, this is a blade right here. Yeah. Strange. Got a little bit of water damage up here, actually. Other than that, I mean, the building itself seems to be in pretty good shape. Let's go down here and see if we can see anything through these doors. Oh, we might actually be able to see into what was apparently the sales floor, unless this was just some kind of a warehouse or something. But let's take a look. Oh, come on, just reflection. Hi. Oh, I think there's, yeah, there's black plastic on those doors anyway there, so you can't see in. But here's a sign, attention customers. Cannot be responsible, blah, blah, blah. But there's still nothing that says what this was. Yeah, there's the enter sign. And honestly, looking at that, I don't know. I mean, that doesn't give anything away to me. And I don't see any kind of a label scar up here at all. I don't see any kind of signs in the parking lot. I'm sure if I get online on Google, maybe I can go backwards and Google Earth and see what was here. You see anything over there at all? No, I didn't see anything. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh. <laughs> I thought maybe that was a label or something, but I guess not. That's so strange that there's not even a hint of a label scar anywhere. All right, let's look here. Is the electric on? Uh, that should be the gas. Oh, that's gas? Yeah. Oh, shows how much I know. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, okay, this is just the 
loading docks back here. I can already tell they got a giant lock on the door up there. Yeah, you can you can tell where there was a banner of some kind up here at one point, and that was a huge one too. There's bolts all the way down to here. So whatever that banner said, unless that was a going out of business banner, but it looks like it was red, so I kind of doubt that. Weird. Yeah, okay, so Richard's pointing out right here where you can see a label scar up here. It's really tough to see though. It looks like a B, possibly an R. All right, wait, let me step back a minute because it kind of looked like a K up there. But what would that have been? Unless it was like Bradley's or something? I don't know. Maybe in the video it'll be more clear than what I can see here, but there it is along the top there. That, that was a good find, Richard. It could be a Bradley's. Maybe. Because it... Uh... Yeah, that's a really tough one to make out. Oh well, yeah, I'll have to look online and see what I can figure out. We're all standing here trying to figure out what it says. <laughs> okay, so guys, we came back out to the front here just to see if we could find another label scar. And you can very, very faintly see that there is a very faint label scar up here, but there, you just, there's no way to make it out. And then around the side here, like we were about to just take off, we didn't even look over here. But look at this. You're not like there's a whole lot to see, but I mean, there's more to see than what we did. So. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to give it away for a minute. Sheldon Good and Company? Uh, auctions? Oh, yeah. That's probably just the company that's. Uh, yeah, I don't see any other kind of label scars up here. But let's. Are these papered off? Yeah. Uh, crap. Well, might be able to see a little bit in here. Guess not. <laughs> This looks like air conditioning units. Where is that coming from? I don't know. There is a huh. Oh well. We're hearing somebody make announcements, but we don't know where it's coming from. Really strange. You would think that there was some kind of a, a giveaway to tell what this was. The only thing was that Dutch boy sign and and I don't think that's what the label scar said. But Dutch boy is like, you know, a brand of paints and that. Hmm. Oh, let's go over here and see if there's anything. Old trash. Alright, we got some windows here. Maybe we can peek in. Ooh, dark, but we can see in there a little bit. Barely. Probably see more on the video there than I actually see. Oh well, whatever it was had a big parking lot on the side here and big parking lot in the front. I'll have to get on Google and see if I can figure it out.